Hello, my friends, and welcome back to another episode of Snuggles and Storytime. My name is Amanda, and I'm so glad that you could join me today. Today, we have a story about a holiday that's coming up. It's a holiday that I don't know very much about because I don't celebrate it. But maybe you do. Or maybe you know someone who does. It's a holiday called Diwali. And it's celebrated in the Hindu faith. So we're going to talk more about the story in just a bit. But before we talk about the story, we need to say hello. Please put your hands up so you can join me. Here we go. Hello, all my friends, how are you? Hello, all my friends, how are you? With the jiggle, 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 and a wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Hello, all my friends, how are you? We have a great story today. It's all about that holiday, Diwali. And our story today is called It's Diwali. Have you ever heard of this holiday before? Maybe you have, maybe you haven't, but we're gonna learn about it today. There's lots of neat things that they do. And I was interested and I know you'll be interested. So let's read our story. It's called, It's Diwali. And it's written by Kabir Shagala and Shur Ishta Shagala. And it's illustrated by Arkanan Sheen Vasaim. I really like this story and I think you will too. Here we go. One, two. Mindy, for you. Do you see the little drawing that they're doing on their hand? That's called a Mindy. A Mindy, there's a little description down here. Mindy is a powdered henna, okay? It's a dye used to make beautiful designs on people's feet and hands, and it symbolizes happiness and luck. See how they have designs on their hands? It looks pretty. It looks kind of like a tattoo, but it will wash off. It just stains it for a little while. It's kind of like if you color on your skin with a Sharpie. Yeah, don't do it, you'll get in trouble. But if you color on your skin with a Sharpie, it'll be there for a while and eventually it will wash off. That's just like a Mindy. Three, four. Raguli on the floor. A raguli is colorful designs made on the floor or ground using chalk and flowers. When I see these, they're always beautifully colored and it reminds me of sand art. Sometimes if you put glue on a paper and you sprinkle different colored sand, sand or sugar crystals on it, it will stick to just where the glue is and it looks pretty. This is what it reminds me of. But this isn't glued down, it's just poured down. Five. Six, light the Daya's wicks. Daya's are little oil lamps used during religious events and festivals. So they're little lamps that light, that they light on Diwali. Seven, eight, Jablis on a plate. Jablis are delicious desserts and they're made out of flour, butter, and syrup. They kind of, to me, look like something called a funnel cake. And a funnel cake in Wisconsin, it's pretty much a, a donut. It's like donut batter and you fry it in oil until it kind of looks like a pile of spaghetti. And so it's just a messy donut. That's kind of what it looks like to me. I'm not sure if it tastes like that, but that's what it looks like to me. Nine, 10. It's Diwali again. 
Diwali is an Indian festival of lights. So you see how there's lots of lights? Is it a happy time, you think? Absolutely, lots of families coming together, lots of celebrations. Absolutely. 10, nine, fireworks shine. They have fireworks, pretty cool, right? Eight, seven, la douze, taste like heaven. La douze are tasty little desserts made of flour, butter, and sugar. Sometimes nuts and raisins are added too. So flour, butter, and sugar kind of in a ball. So it, it kind of is like, kind of like a cookie ball is the closest I can describe it as. And they love them. Six, five rickshaws to drive. A rickshaw is a small motorized three-wheeled vehicle and it's used to travel short distances. In India, for example, there's lots of people, so there'll be lots of rickshaws that are kind of like taxis. You can get a ride in one to go wherever you're going. That's the rickshaw. Four, three, mila under the tree. A mila is a market where artists and shopkeepers put up tents and sell goods underneath a tree. Pretty neat, right? Two, one, Diwali is so fun. And then it says, Shubish Diwali. Shubish Diwali means happy Diwali in Hindi. Hindi is one of the languages spoken in India. And that's the end. So there you go. We learned about Diwali today. And if you celebrate Diwali, I hope you have a Shubish Diwali. And if you don't celebrate Diwali, now we know about it. And maybe you'll meet someone who celebrates it someday. I hope you have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.